I am Dr. Rajeshwaran, consultant endocrinologist and bariatric physician. I'm going to talk to you about 10 non-weight related benefits of Vigori. I mean, this can also be applicable to Monjaro, Zempic. You know that Vigori, which is semaglutide, is prescribed for weight loss. So yes, you will lose weight. You'll find that your numbers are coming down when you stand on the weighing scale. But what I'm going to talk to you about is nothing to do with the number on the weighing scale. I'm going to talk to you about the non-weight loss benefits of Vigori. Okay, so the first one is a drop in blood pressure. So when you are on Vigori, there's a high chance that your blood pressure is drop, and especially if you've got hypertension or high blood pressure, you will need to have regular checks of blood pressure by your doctor. And if you are on tablets, you may have to even consider reducing the dose of tablets. So always have a regular review by your doctor if you are on Vigori or even Monjaro. But if you're taking Vigori, as you know that this is also a medication for diabetes, your diabetes is likely to improve, and there may be a need for reduction in dose of medications for diabetes. So that's the second benefit. The third benefit is cardiovascular benefit. You must have read in the papers, there's been a significant reduction in, um, especially in people who have had heart attack or stroke, there was a nearly a 20% reduction in heart attack or stroke when people were on semaglutide. So there's a significant benefit and in cardiovascular risk reduction. So that's the third benefit. The fourth benefit is reduction in hunger. So when I say hunger, that's a very important concept. It's not just about losing weight. It's about resetting your hunger pattern. It's reducing food noise, reducing craving. The threshold for hunger, the threshold for the craving is very important during your weight loss journey. So I always tell my patients, please don't get fixated with the number on the weighing scale. Start to understand the, your hunger. Be more mindful of your hunger, the craving, the portion sizes and the food noise. You will find that a lot of people have come and said that the food noise is gone. I don't keep thinking about food. So that's one of the non-weight loss benefits of Vigori. So I've talked to you about four. And the fifth one is there's a lot of research going into um, see if semaglutide and the GLP-1 group of drugs is beneficial for Alzheimer's disease. So it's still not been licensed for use, but they think that there could be a benefit in reducing the risk of development of dementia. Now coming to the sixth point, which I see in my practice all the time, people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or commonly called fatty liver. And there are several stages of um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And I get referred by a lot of gastroenterologists, especially when they've got abnormal liver function tests and the fibro scan shows it's abnormal. And when I start them on this medication, which is Vigori or Monjaro, and support them with the lifestyle changes, I find a significant improvement in the liver function, which is very, very important. So that's the sixth benefit. The seventh benefit is gastrointestinal benefit. People with obesity are troubled with heartburn. It's quite common. So uh, heartburn is very common in people with obesity. Indigestion is common in people with obesity. It may be due to several factors. The fact that they may have gallstone, which is causing fat um, or digestion problems, so that can cause gastrointestinal problems. So when you lose weight, your function of your pancreas, your function of the liver, they all get better. And then people usually come and tell me, the doctor, when I started Vigovia, I had a lot of heartburn. Now I have much less than when I started. So weight loss improves or reduces um, reflex. So that's an added advantage of uh, Vigori and the other class of medications. So that's the seventh. The eighth is improvement in eye health. Now, I don't know if you know that Ozempic, which is um, licensed for diabetes, should not be given, especially if you have active uh, retinopathy. It's very important because it can worsen before it makes it better. Now, there's a study going on called the FOCUS study to see if it can improve your eye health, especially macular degeneration. So semaglutide is now being researched to see if it can help prevent blindness due to macular degeneration. That's the eighth. And the ninth is, I don't know whether it's being reported, but I see this very commonly in my practice. A lot of my patients who come with weight problem have underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism and they're on thyroxin or l -troxin. So when they, when I keep reviewing them, after six months, uh, after they've lost a significant amount of weight, I find that 
the thyroid function shows that it's overactive rather than being underactive. So I have to reduce the dose of medications for underactive thyroid. So I bring down the dose of thyroxine. So if you are on Vigovi, Monjaro or any other weight loss medication, the GLP class of medications and you're starting to lose significant amount of weight and you've got underactive thyroid, please make sure you have a blood test for thyroid function test at least once in three to six months time because you may need a lower dose of thyroxine. And the last of the non-weight loss benefits is fertility. Both men and women, they become more fertile. So it's very important while you're on the weight loss journey to understand that your fertility may improve. So you need to adapt contraceptive measures if you're not planning to have a baby. In the men who are my patients and who are on weight loss journey, they come and tell me that they used to be on testosterone supplements and now they don't need testosterone supplements. So this is quite common and that's what I've been noticing is when they lose about 20-30 kgs of weight or 4 or 5 stones and they were on testosterone injections or gel for erectile dysfunction and when, the, when we start to monitor their testosterone level it just goes up naturally. So they don't need these supplements. Similarly, in women, that fertility improves. Now, coming back to men, why should it? Why should the body naturally produce more testosterone when they lose weight? Well, there are several endocrine explanations for it, but I'm going to just give you a couple of them. So fat tissue in the body is not an inert organ. It's quite metabolically active. So what it does, it, it causes a conversion of testosterone into fat or testosterone. It actually, in people with weight problem, it prevents the active form of testosterone. So there's something called aromatase inhibition. The second reason is the scrotum, which contains the testicles, it's outside the body. There's a reason why it is outside the body. Predominantly to ensure the testicles are two degrees centigrade, less than the body temperature so that it can function better. Whereas in novice men, what happens is the scrotum is, is finely embedded within the tummy and the thigh and it's kept snugly warm. So the scrotum, the testicle starts to think that it's inside the body and doesn't do its job. But when men lose weight and that significant amount of weight, what happens is the scrotum is cooler. So it starts to produce its own testosterone. It starts to do its job properly. So that may be the reason why they don't need supplements. So I've explained to you 10 non-weight loss benefits of Vigodi or any of these class of medications like Ozempic. Monjaro. Uh, if you want me to look into any other topics related to weight and weight related medical conditions, please do mention in the comment box below. Thank you.